Hey y'all. <clears throat> I uh, didn't feel like doing a live video today. Uh, I just kind of wanted to record something real quick and send it out to you guys. But um, I had someone on my mind that I wanted to send a poem to. And I just asked God, you know, show me which poems I, that I need to send to this person. So um, they know it was for them, their situation, whatever is going on with them. Um, that it's not about me, that it's, you know, God placing them in my heart um, and me sending them something. <clears throat> so I'm going through my books, God's Respected for Me, Volume 2. But for some reason, it, it just wasn't in there. So I said, well, let me go to Volume 1 right here. And I started kind of flipping through and I started to read this particular poem. It's called Third Semester. Third trimester, the end of a long semester. Will all my hard work pay off? Is there a book that I could have written? A word of encouragement that could have been spoken to myself? Why have I lived this long and lived half my purpose? I know what else God has placed in me, but if everything isn't my way, words on the page will not be unveiled. All my books will be word of mouth. I could have made my mark, but maybe I'm all burnt out. Does God really want me to leave this earth without doing everything he placed in me? No, but that'll probably be. So as I give birth to my soul passing on, I'll remember this song, Almost Doesn't Count. And when I read it, I said, this is it. So I sent it out. And then, as I'm just reading the Bible, I just had to stop. And I just had to, like, start praising God and thanking God <laughs> for, for just where he has me and where he's going to take me. Because I don't want to be that person that ends up being in their 60s, 70s, 80s. And before they die, realize everything that God had placed in them, they did not do. And I want to do everything that God placed in me when it comes to my friendships, relationships, and my marriage, and my business. I want to be able to do every single thing that God has placed in me, especially with getting his words out on paper or through speaking, whatever it might be. Because I know there's someone else that needs it, especially myself. Anytime I read my own poems, I'm literally ministering to myself. It's... It's crazy how it, it might even hit me more than the person I'm sending it to. But I'll, I'll remember this song, Almost Doesn't Count. Almost does not count, y'all. Almost doesn't count. Whatever God has placed in you, do it. And start today. You don't have much time on this earth. You might have 50 years, 60 years, 70 years. Some of us might have 30-something years. Some of us might have only 40 years to complete the mission, to complete our goal to complete God's will for us. So don't ever take any day for granted. Don't take any second for granted. I always know that every day you wake up is the next step in your ministry, is the next step in listening to God to see exactly where he wants to take you. I mean, it's, it's amazing when we actually listen to God, what he's telling us. We take those first steps, that second step, that third step, and then all of a sudden, God starts to reveal exactly what he wants from us within that particular plan. And how it's going to shape everything else that we do. It's just so amazing. But y'all, just listen. You know, be aware of God's voice. Listen to him. And whatever he tells you to do, do it. And do it boldly. Don't worry about what other people might think. What they might say. Uh, why are you doing things this way? Why are you doing... It doesn't matter. They didn't make you. They're not your master. God is your master. And because God is my master, I will not say, when I die, before I see my angel, I will not say, almost doesn't count. I will not say, shoulda, coulda, woulda. I will say, didda. I did it. Through Jesus Christ. Y'all have a good one.